Yes, uh, the last game was quite insane. I mean, you can really see how, how, like a difference, how much of a difference is there if you are like one of the very top players in the world and especially known for your execution and micro or if you are one of the better pro players but probably not a favorite you know if you go in into any tournament you're not if there's like players like Bjorn or Dark going up you're not or Clem or Rainer you will not be the favorite there as Hastem you will always be the underdog and yeah you can really see why that is the case Dark uh, sorry Bjorn completely showed that there just displayed his skill really which is really cool to see sometimes you know but <laughs> was a little bit anticlimactic I have to say just killing him with the cyclone and then killing him with a what was it three tank eight marine push <laughs> went the medevac and five SCV I mean I really love this push you can probably kill so many Protoss players <laughs> on the ladder if you, if you use this it's just insane but yeah, let's go into this game here. Strange against Dark. A blue Protoss player Strange. Let's see what he can bring to the table. I'm, I'm actually not too familiar with his style. But yeah, let's just wait and see what he does. I assume it's gonna be an Oracle opening. And on the other side, well, Dark, Dark can basically do anything and everything. He will do things that people have no, never seen before. He will use units that people think are unusable in any matchup. He is the... If, if you have like a one-trick pony, he has like the most ponies. He has more ponies than anyone in his trick, trick book. And the most dangerous pony is his standard play, which is just so strong in basically with every composition you can imagine. Like, if, you, if I have to analyze, right, if I have to say why Dark is one of the best ones, best players we have, and what makes him the most scary player probably to go up against, it's like, you get any, any army composition, really. If it's spellcasters, if it is mutalisks, if it is roach-based, if it's ling-based, if it's ultralisk-based, any composition, hydra-based, what you want, you name it. And it always feels... You know, Dark can always is always up there in the top execution levels or level players for any style. Like Swarm Hosts, everything. You name it, you get it. He can he's almost perfect with every style. And that's probably one of the things, as well as cheese by the way, one of the things that makes him just such a scary player to play against. Because you you don't he doesn't really have a weakness. He's willing to go for everything. And he's gonna execute it to championship level. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I'd be fucking scared going up against this guy. Let's go here. So he's kind of baiting the stalker with the links. He has, what, eight links? Seven links around here. Eight links. No, it's gonna have speed, though. He needs to show the links a little bit early there. A little bit unfortunate for him. I'm not gonna find anything with these links. Maybe the adept, but I don't think the adept is gonna commit, is it? No. There we go. But yeah, so what this does is this makes the map a little bit of a dark place here for Strange. He scouted basically everything he wanted to see, but hey, this is cool for Dark. He can basically do whatever he wants. He's gonna go into a Roach Warren. He didn't really see anything there except for the units. And if he checks again now, he's gonna see two Adepts. You go two Adepts after a Stalker? Yeah, he's gonna see those and they should, you know, the spider senses should be tinkling that we have Glaives in fact on the way here. Gonna be a third base though. Like so the standard glaive with a third, it seems. Let's see how many gates we're gonna get. We have four so far. This might just be a pressure. He could go up to six, but it's not gonna be in time with the glaives. Let's see how he wants to play this. He's gonna hide some adepts for now, but yeah, I assume like one more wobbin round. And we're gonna have ten. And then just go. And try to pressure some Zerg bases drones here. On the other side, well, Dark just went very, very safe. He has a very low drone count currently. And uh, he has spores even, which he's not going to need, unfortunately. He only made one. And he has the Roach Warren. So we are going to have some Roaches. We already have a couple odd. Yeah. And let's see if Strange can just find the right opening here. The right angle for his adept. He's got to trade against the Lynx. Going to snack a Queen. Very nice here. Good start for him for now. 
And then, uh, yeah, the drones need to be evacuated, and he's gonna start to pile on the pressure onto these drones. Links, though, kind of coming in the surround again, and Strange is shading somewhere where there's no drones, so there's no threat here, actually. And the Dark, he can just split off his units and just, just fight the Adepts. There we go, just going into the main base. Now we see a lot of drones falling here, though, actually. This is, this is really, really tough, and two more Adepts shading into the natural 14 drones. Hey, man. That paid out in dividends there at the end, so it's down. Dark is down to 26 drones. Man. Just in the end, Strange manages to, like, kill so many drones there. But, you know, this is Dark. He might just remake the drones. He's gonna try for an attack right now. See what he can do. He's just gonna make links and some Ravagers out of the roaches he had. But it's Glaive the Depths. You don't really want to fight with links, do you? And it's gonna be a Dark Shrine, but hey, Dark already has an Overseer mate. There we go, it's here. He knows Dark Shrine is one of the possibilities here, and he might just kill the third base actually with this push. Let's see, what is there? These links need to participate in the fight. We want them with the army, Dark. This is a little bit of a mistake here. He definitely wants them, um, you know, and tanking for his force or just getting some damage in whatever you can do you need every unit at this point and honestly he might just kill strange here with the counter attack gg well played by dark actually